And as ironic as it is, TELUS, finally, after a while, is now offering unlimited data usage at 512k once you slow down. Still, despite the plans, I am not going to switch back from free to mobile because the prices are the exact same thing. $75 a month, $95 a month, and $125 a month. Yeah. At 10, 20, and 50 gigabytes of uh, high speed data and then drop down to 512k afterwards. Now, the thing is, I don't trust it. I just don't trust it. You know why? You know why? You know why? You know why? You want to know why? You really want to know why? Because they could easily increase it. The prices, yeah. They could easily increase it again. The prices, they could just fucking hike it. And I can hike it. That's what they could do. And... Yeah, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna tolerate and stand that. I'm not, because 75, 90, and uh, sorry, 75, 95, and 125 could easily be 85, 105, and 155 a month. You could easily jump right to that. Buy doors every year, and then holy fuck! Suddenly, my $75 a month plan now costs $90. Just saying, I could easily get that back. Being realistic there, just thought I'd mention that. You gotta be realistic when you're talking about the big three. Because that's what they are. They're greedy carriers. CO's greedy. No, that's just how it is. They're greedy. And they always will be. They want to gout, 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 gout. Yeah, it's money. So much money. I really gotta put a windsock on this microphone. But yeah, that's just how it is. It's ironically, it's sad, but not at all of them actually, for the corporate side, the biggest, the big bully side, actually have unlimited data. It's still not gonna sway me. I've been a customer of Freedom Mobile for eight years. And I'm not about to go back to my ex-carrier, Telus, or Rogers, or Bell. I'm not about to order subsidiaries either. Bell owns Lucky Mobile and Virgin Mobile. Telus owns both Kudu and Public, and Rogers owns both Chatar and Fido. I'm not going back. Regardless of how many cyber attacks Freedom Mobile has to go through. No matter how many times the fucking website gets knocked out, the data network gets knocked out, that's not going to make anyone switch. Because they know through thick and thin, they know who the dirty work is coming from. They know pretty easily who's paying for those cyber attacks. It's pretty fucking obvious. And no, they're going to deny it. But deep down, I know where they're coming from. And no, it's not the United States. No, it's not Russia. No, it's not anywhere else. No, it's not them specifically. It's a dirty organization getting paid by one of the larger carriers to do that. Because they view Freedom Mobile, they view Freedom as a threat. Because the prices are far lower than they are. And they don't do price hikes. Because once you're on a plan, it stays that way forever. Your price does not go up. Mine has not gone up since I got it. Friends and family discount codes. I'm lucky to get it. I'm lucky. When it was being shared around, when my friends gave it to me, I was like, wow. My $50 plan suddenly became 36 a month. They're harder to get nowadays. Much harder. Try getting those with the uh, larger carriers. And yes, I mean, try. Because the price hikes those go away pretty quickly and grandfather plans are not guaranteed to stay at the same price point anyways that's all I gotta say now that the big three are all caught up maybe they should eliminate their subsidiaries and just stick with the three of them 
I don't know why they don't do that. But hey, I'm always going to be an unpaid Freedom Mobile customer. No, I'm not paid to use the internet by Freedom Mobile. If a carrier paid their customers to use their service, they'd be fucking broke. And they'd be bankrupt. So, seriously, it's not happening. And if you're going to call me a shill, you're a shill. Makes it fair. You're probably getting paid by those fucking cocksuckers. Anyways, that's all I got to say. Peace out.